Hello friends, Deborah Derby here. Welcome back to another theme deck corner. That's right, we got the big turtle shell man himself. Big uh, Shell Shaka, the Blastoise. Powerful squall deck for you guys today. Um, it's called Torrential Current, so it's pretty cool deck. We'll go over it, tell you a little bit how to update it, and what cards can be good and what cards can't be, I guess. Or I guess every card can be good. It's just a question of how you play it. Uh, we'll get started here in just one moment after this. Okay, I'm sorry if that was super loud. I do have to work on that. I think I gotta go back to the original file and see if I can get it back to normal. Um, that is a problem, I guess. But uh, this guy, this is the big boy Blastoise himself with powerful squall. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may look at the top six cards of your deck and attach any number of water energies you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Now this did see a little bit of play, I think, in a Waylord build, which is kind of cool. But it's slowly kind of making its way back now. Um, I think there's like a Mew Mew Blastoise now, which is kind of cool. There's also a Blastoise GX that came out um, that this works out really well with because it returns the energy to the deck and then Powerful Squad just becomes that much more powerful at the end of the game. Um, so it's a very good support stage 2 mon, um, but 150 attack is not nothing to scoff at as this deck can do some damage pretty simple deck you know you have three farfetch as your starting mon you want to collect cards draw two cards um and get as many cards in your hand so you can get your blastoise evolution down you have this very good um air mail ability which uh you draw a top two cards of your deck you pick one of them put them put it in your hand and you put the other one at the bottom of your deck now this one actually did well at worlds i believe one of them got eighth place with Pidgeotto as the main card in the deck. So that's a pretty slick card to get in this. Um, you can definitely start to build that with this. Obviously it's an uncommon, so it's not terribly hard to get. Um, but you get two of them in this. You also get two Pidgeot Pidgeots here with Spinstorm. Your opponent puts their active Pokemon all cards attached to it into their hand. So if this is their last Pokemon, you can Spinstorm and win the game. It's kind of like a good donk method with the triple acceleration energy that one can really kind of be cool to do um your opponent switches their active with their bench pokemon a simple 60 damage for two is pretty high damage for a simple energy cost we got three of the psyducks i know he's missing his slow buck brother in but headache gets a headache flip of coins your opponent can't play any trainer cards from their hand during their next turn that's a pretty strong effect for a coin flip just saying Amnesia, choose one of your active, opponent's active Pokemon as attack. This Pokemon can't use that attack during your next turn. So, big Pokemon that only have one attack. Amnesia is great for. You can kind of lock your opponent out of the game. Especially if their Pokemon only has one attack. And then Swim does 90 damage. If it, if the, your opponent's Pokemon has any water energy attached, you can do 90 to that specific Pokemon out there on the bench. Which is kind of cool. Interesting effect, to be honest. And then we got the Squirtle War Turtle Blastoise line. I think it's a 3-2-2, two, two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so obviously you can get this thickened up. But generally, two Blastoise is really all you need to be able to set up. Obviously, some rare candies could make it a little quicker than this method. But all the same, you know, it's still a way to get Blastoise out. And then Powerful Squall can kind of power up anything on your board here as well. Is uh, the other thinking with this. So that's a very nice way. It's kind of really good energy acceleration. Um, you got general nest balls, uh, which are rotated now because they were from sun and moon, but you can generally replace those with communications or something along those lines to get the Pokemon out that you need. Same thing with timer ball. It's uh, ex it's uh, expanded now, but in these theme decks, you can still play them. We got two switches as well, two Brocks. Now you find that this deck is very similar to the Charizard one. Obviously the Charizard wants energy in their deck so that they can Roaring Resolve. This one wants energy in their deck so they can Powerful Squall. That's kind of the same concept. Um, and with the decks together, you know, when you get both decks, you get four Cynthia's, which is a good draw supporter. You know, you get four Copycats, which is a good shuffle draw. Um, depending on what you're playing, um, it can be better than others, I guess. But it's a good, like, mediocre, I guess, is what it's considered draw support. How is general draw support, but you don't really see him get played. 
Pokemon Fan Club, a couple of decks play it, but nothing super successful. And Kakui is expanded now, but in theme decks, why not use it? Because you can hit 170, you can hit um, 110, and you can hit 80 with it. All good numbers, like 80 far fetches 80, so you can get that that way. And then 20 energies, you're going to really struggle not to hit Powerful Squall, but you never know. Sometimes the game is just against you. Um, so there we go. That's the Blastoise deck. We're going to go ahead and take it over here to the Versus Ladder in the theme deck format. Tall Rental Cannon. Let's play some Blastoise, the big Blast boy. We are looking for an opponent. That opponent has just been found. We are facing on one slightly. Only slightly? Only slightly. Only slightly. And they're calling the coin flip. Looks like they're playing Charizard. This is funny because when we were playing Charizard, we faced against Blastoise. So, fun times. Ooh, Squirtle power. I'm a Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirrel going after it. Since we are facing fire, we're just going to assume that he starts fire and that we can kind of uh, start beating him up sooner rather than later. Does he know me? Hi, lol. I think we're going to nest ball for... I don't want a copycat here. This is actually where I want to use how over copycat because copycat would give me a bigger hand size, but how doesn't mess with the cards in my hand and I want to evolve that next turn. I think we grab a Farfetch'd. Because we probably want to throw it in front. Now we're only going to probably use one. Let's grab a How. Oh, look at this punishment. Shoulda grabbed the Pidgey. Shoulda grabbed a Pidgey. Shoulda, shoulda grabbed the Pidgey. I think I'm just going to tackle him. Might as well hit it for 10. Next turn I can retreat into uh, Farfetch'd. And this is usually fine, I think, because, you know, you get three Squirtles in this deck. You might lose a prize here, but not likely when they're playing Farfetch'd. They're just trying to gather cards in their hand as well. Boom. We'll get that down. We will start to farfetch ourselves, but not before... We airmail. Grab that, uh, grab that war turtle and slam it down. And I know I could get a giant hand, but I really want this Blastoise next turn. So we're just going to Farfetch Collect as well. And that is a beautiful hand. We're going to go ahead and slam down the Blastoise. Uh, we'll probably keep the... Actually, I could probably use the Farfetch. Yeah, it's looking like I could use the Farfetch'd. So, we'll do that. Throw this down. Get the other Farfetch'd ready. And go ahead and copycat. Because they didn't expect us to have that many cards. And boom. This really lets us set up strongly here. And go ahead and airmail now. Grab the side duck. Yeah, the gold duck. Oh, didn't matter what I grabbed. I guess I could have grabbed the uh, the other one, but that's fine. We're going to hit powerful squall here. We actually get three energy. Now we can go put it and put them on ourselves, get that hydro tackle. But it seems to me like gold duck might be the answer here. I'll split them because I'm not attacking the gold duck this turn. So I will split them. Collect. Call and collect. Did not need to do that. I should have just went all on without it. Uh, so now we're just looking for our second war turtle. Um, if we ever lose a far fetch, we're going to go ahead and throw it on a Pidgey, I think. Because that way, Airmail just kind of gets you through your deck a little quicker than, you know, Nita Queen does. We got to start taking knockouts. We got to get ahead in this game because they can come back here. Uh, Pidgeot. We could spin Storm. So we're gonna airmail. 
Man, it really wants me to use that, doesn't it? Squall. One on Golduck, one on Blastoise. And we're gonna Kakui for more water energy. And just Tool Buster, we'll hit it for 40. Might as well. Man, they are ready for Nidoqueen. And there comes down the Nidoqueen. We're gonna have to one-shot this thing in order to get it. Luckily, I think our play here is to like, let them go into the active and then we're just gonna use Golduck and amnesia them. Like their only way around the Golduck is Rapidash. So I think we're pretty safe. If they go into Nidoqueen or Charizard, we just put Golduck up and use Amnesia. I think this next turn I can probably use... They're swinging back. They're swinging back. Um, Air mail. I'll take the water energy over the duck. Over the duck. And, uh... They don't have a tool on them. It kind of sucks. Uh, is there something I could use down here? Nope. So our play here is copycat or fan club. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, let's do it that way. Squall. We're gonna go into Pidgeotto here. It's a little risky, I will say. But if it gets knocked out, we will just get another Pidgey. This way we go ahead in the prize and we go ahead and bait them into starting this move. Exactly. So we're gonna make them retreat. We're gonna make them retreat Nito Queen here. Cause they're gonna go in, try to knock this out. They have 50, 100, 150, 160. They're hitting for 160 right now with Nito Queen. But we do have a way around that. We can kind of stall it out with uh, Golduck here. Make them have to retreat it. And it hits for 20, so it allows Blastoise to come in and get the knockout later. There goes the Power Lariat. Which, like I said, is when I come in with Amnesia. Amnesia Duck. Farfetch. Not what we're looking for. I want a Pidgey and I want a Wartortle. But for now, I'll just grab two Pidgeys. Go ahead and throw that down. Um, I don't think we're going to hit anything, but we may. We're going to Squall. Throw it onto the Squirtle. Do that. And Timer Ball's best use is next turn. Probably after I brought Grit. Amnesia. Now they're gonna be mad that they can't use that. So they might they might end up retreating and just going for the knockout with Warren as well. But that's fine because I'll be able to come in with Blastoise and knock that out as well. Although, do I have another water type down? Yeah, so that's good for me. That's a lot of energy they just wasted on that. They're not going to power up that anytime soon now. Because it takes three turns to power up a Queen. 
but figured that was coming. Um, actually, let me see something here. 70. 70 knocks that out. That's focusing on... Let's do that this way. I think I want Squirtle. I really do. Nope. Okay, so I think we grab the War Turtle over the Pidgey. Where is that? There it is. That way we knock out this one with the War Turtle. And then I can squall with this other one. Um, we're not going to use anything this turn, so we're definitely going to use this. Oh, no, that, not that. We're going to grab the Pidgeotto and five energies. And I think we're fine like that. We do have a Golduck here, so we could probably get that ready to go. Okay, that's fine. And we're just gonna waterfall because I think this helps us out a lot. Um, they're gonna have to come in and knock this out. We do have another Brock's Grit, I believe. Yeah, we do. So we'll be able to get this line back. But that allows us to get that knockout without putting damage on ourselves. So now they have to try to figure out a way around the war turtle. It looks like they're just gonna amnesia. Which I think it's just protects it. Yeah, just protects it. So I can switch and collect or something weird like that. And tails. So here's another knockout for us. We'll do this. Catch that there. Oh, I could evolve it into Blastoise here. Take a big knockout, but put 30 damage on myself. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. I didn't powerful squall. One, two, three. One, two, and three. We could powerful squall again, but I just want to hide your tackle here. <laughs> what is this song? All right, cool, we got another switch. So this seems like a long game to me already, but it's not been. So they're gonna go after this one. Um, they're gonna have to start charging up something. Yeah, I figured it's gotta be Nita Queen. They may try to go into a uh, Rapidash again. Did they Brock that back yet? No. So that's fine. Um, we can knock it out with Golduck here. And not even risk our Blastoise again. Finally get this down. Um, part of me wants to... That's funny. Um... Just you wait. Step three. Still in throw a pigeon down. Step four. Come on, man. I'm trying. Step four. Fill him up with no haste. Now I'm baffled. Wait, a princess is in another castle? Now since they got me running, got me looking. Figured I'd swing my toes. 
Okay, okay, let's go ahead and I mean, do I have just amnesia? I think I just swim. It's like, do I just amnesia and make it so it can't hit me? Oh cool, we got another Squirtle now. We have to Brock in order to get the Blastoise line back though. Alright, so we can get like four cards. <laughs> this treasure deck's done though. They like they have too much of a lead. Yeah, I was gonna have one prize card left to go. So that was a good game for Blasters. Really kind of showed off the squall. And uh, that was nice. That was nice. So obviously Blasters is going to do well against Charizard. But let's go ahead and try this again. See if we can get another uh, get a Unified Minds pack out of this actually. Oh, a chest. Two uncommon chests of all things. So let's look for another opponent, see if we can find somebody that Blastoise can still compete with in a Karazma deck. This should be interesting. Um, Charizard was really struggling with the Karazma, but will Blastoise suffer the same fate? Requested Axes. Or Axes. Uh, we're starting with a Pidgey. We got our double Brocks. That's just a bad hand. I do not see us doing well with this one. Starting a or starting a Pidgey is okay. It's a collector at least. It collects cards for us. Um, so it's like a weak, um, weak, um, man, his name escapes me. A weak Farfetch'd. Pidgey is a very good weak Farfetch'd. Um, but we do have a copycat, so we can't get out of this. As long as they don't play too many cards. They played too many cards. <laughs> oh wait, that might help us. We might be able to copycat for a lily sized hand. Yes, we can copycat for a lily sized hand. So we'll do that for now. Go ahead and copycat. We could have kept the gold duck, but really that's the kind of copycat you want to give me? That's ridiculous. We're going to collect one more card. That's a, that's almost pitiful. Why did it give me 5 out of 20 energies? 5 out of the 19 energies, actually. Because I have one in here already. That's a lot of energy to draw. Sorry, I'm getting a little tired. Um... Doing this at the end of my day. And that's hot chocolate. Well, cold chocolate now, but instead of uh, what it normally is. So we can still retreat. Um, we're going to set up the amnesia, maybe? Nope. Nope. That's a double nope. And they have seven cards, which means Copycat is stronger than Cynthia. Or so I thought. Wow, what a copycat. Air mail. Um, we do something with that? Not really. Uh, we gotta get something down. Um, I feel like it's gotta be a Pidgey or a Farfetch'd. I'm gonna go with Pidgey though. Um, and detached energy. And we're done. Um, we can headache. Make sure they can't play trainer cards next turn. But uh, other than that, I don't know. They're going to probably mumble us, though. Which is not terrible. I guess they're going to mumble us. We're getting, like, stage twos. Like, there's four cards here that are just completely useless here to us. That's... That's just bad draws. I really don't see us winning this, but I will try my hardest to make it to mount an attack, I should say.
Uh, we didn't take any prize cards, so he's only gonna hit us for 30. Not sure how much that matters. Okay, okay. So we're probably just gonna go right into Pidgeot here. Yep. We'll attach this here. Air mail. Grab a Centiary switch. Centiary switch. Centiary switch. Switch. And go into this. Kukui. Because we can throw down a Squirtle for the first time in forever. And then hit this thing for 80, which I don't mind. I think I'm gonna sack. Uh, oh, they switch, not me. They switch, I don't switch. I was about to say, I think I'm gonna sack the duck, but it is the mighty duck, so it's kind of hard to say that you're gonna throw a side duck in the way. Nice, they're gonna go for the knockout. Which my only response is a duck. It's a duck attack. But luckily they only have like 50 HP left. But yeah, that 120 hurt. How many? One, two, three, four, five. The duck! Wow. The duck. Yep, the duck has no luck. Can't even cluck. So we'll throw that down. We're gonna throw down Farfetch because it kinda has the best chance to do anything here. Um. Although I can attach energy to it next turn, so we're gonna wait, we're gonna headache and hope they cannot play trainer cards. Nope, they can. So they still have 20 HP with this uh, Sil Valley. Um, and they're gonna be able to hit us for air slashing again and taking out the duck. It's a little unfortunate, but it does look like, it does look like Farfetch can come in and swing. Yeah, so Farfetch can take this knockout for us. I like that idea a little better than sending Squirtle out there. He's not quite a ninja. But, uh... We don't need three Squirtles down, guys. Rocks. That line. That energy. We'll leave the duck in there. Uh, attach the energy. Tool Buster. There we go. Finally, we get a prize. Fan Club, a supporter. Supporter doesn't help us very much, to be honest. We kind of need like a timer ball right now. We need a Needle Queen right now. We were going to find like a deck like this with a stage one and a basic is going to be a little quicker than a stage two deck. It's always going to be the case. That's why it's kind of hard to face this deck because it's, a, it's an attacking basic with a stage one supporter. Okay, so how do I take this thing out? Um, I guess I throw Squirtle in. We'll see what happens. Oh, of course I draw a duck. Duck and not a duck. We'll draw a duck and not a duck. We'll get that duck ready and this goose ready. Um, so we can tackle, that's about it. So I can switch and give them a headache or collect. I'm kind of fine with this. We're just going to rain splash. So this alert head, but it's very good in theme deck format. There's not much to do about it. It hits hard. 
It hits for 90 damage, which is one shot to everything for two energies. That is kind of crazy. Um, it's just not as good in standard because there's a lot of GXs and EXs. Otherwise, that would be a very good one prize attacker. Alert, alert, there's a headbutt. So we're gonna actually amnesia that now, I'm, I'm hoping. And I'm hoping for not. Yeah, we can amnesia that. Yikes, yikes. Um. I guess I protect it by sacrificing a Pidgey? This, I mean, we should not have 31 cards in deck right now. We should just not. It's like our, our opponent played a, a, a Sycamore in the time that we haven't. Yeah, we're, we're not really doing well on this one. We got Squirtles on the bench, Blastoise in hand, and no rare candy in sight. Literally, it greens. Yes, it greens right now. Top deck would just be phenomenal. Granted, uh, playing greens to get ability mons out is just not the best. Let's see if Golduck can mount a comeback here. Yes, water energy. Very good. Amnesia. It's gonna retreat now and attack. So you wanna use the internet? Nice. All it needs is a weakness guard energy and it'll be fine. You gotta be kind to people weakness guard energy? No, psychic energy. Barrier attack, interesting. They might be letting me count, mount the comeback here. Uh, water energy, not the best. Do that. Photoshopping pictures to cause humiliation. Cracking someone's password or hacking their account. Stealing people's credit cards and charging large amounts. These things are illegal. You might end up in prison. Don't snatch up while you drive. Alright, so we're gonna try to stall this out a little bit. Never know what'll happen here, but I'm pretty sure we're kind of We're kind of out of luck here. Yeah, that's what I figured was gonna happen. Gum shoes taking a knockout on the gold duck. So we're really struggling against the uh, Necrozma decks. We just can't seem to get them. Can't seem to beat them. Um, but let's try again here. One more match. We're gonna try one more time with Blastoise and see how it do. Um, I'm kind of assess things, I guess. Let's look for an opponent. Looking for an OPP. Looking for an opponent. Man, no one's playing these theme decks. It's going to be another no crowd deck. I almost guarantee it. Okay, okay, let's keep looking. Man, where are these opponents? I thought I'd find somebody by now. Like, there's no way that no one's playing right now. Why are you taking so long? It looks like it's activated. This is the longest I've ever seen it take to find somebody. Oh man. Oh man, come on. Come on. There we go. We found someone. Thank you, Brillums. What are they playing? Is that what I think it is? The old school, like, Lycanroc deck? Garchomp? Oh, please, yes. Garchomp is also a good deck to update, I will say. 
Oh, cool. Perfect far fetch starter. We have Psyduck on the bench and we have plenty of water energy to work with. Just no squirtles. How you doing? Clearly, Hal likes the water energy. Uh, no retreat. Done. Let's see if we can mount this attack and do well against Garchomp. One of the old goodies of the index. Um, I think a lot of people say Garchomp just a little underpowered to be able to work in the uh, current theme deck meta, I guess is what it would be called. I don't know what it would be called. That seems weird name for it, but that might be what it's called is a theme deck meta. Gleesa doesn't get hit for weakness. There's like no fairy theme decks. Like that just factually seems to be the case that there's like no fairy theme decks. Ascension, they got the good bite. Meanwhile, we have no squirtles down. No squirtles. Oh my goodness, that's so helpful game. Super duper helpful. Collecting War Toratol and six energy. I've drawn 20 cards in my deck and six of them have been energy. Well, actually eight of them have been energy. I've pulled almost half my energy already. There's the guard shop. We're gonna throw this down and that down and collect. Calling collect, calling collect. So we got a nest ball. I wish that was a timer ball. But hopefully we can top deck a draw supporter and actually do something. I think we got another energy through that too. Awesome, there goes the far fetched. We got Psyduck on deck. That wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Um, really, all the Pidgeys are prized. You got three Pidgeys, they're all prized. Interesting. We're gonna throw another Psyduck down and drop an energy on it. And throw our hands in the air because we got a headache here. Yeah. Looks like they're one step away from getting a Lucario and being able to search out for anything they want. Here it comes, timer ball. Double tails, yikes, no Lucario for them. At least the game's trying to make it interesting. Kinda. Not doing a great job at it, but kinda making it interesting. So there we go. There goes a Psyduck. Psyayay. Psyayay. Switch. Um, we're just gonna start powering up this guy. Not much else we can do. Headache. Well, the headache didn't work again. We're never gonna have a big enough headache to take out a guard chomp. I think Garchomp's got the upper hand on this here. They're gonna be up 3 0. Up oh, there goes Sayayay. I might. I might need you Squirtle here. Kakui. You might use that. Kakui. Ah, finally I can do something. Tackle for 50. Yeah, more water energy would have been good. 
Yeah, I could attack for 30, I guess. Oh, okay. I just don't see us coming back from this. Too much of a lead. There's four monsters they've knocked out. Guess I'm gonna do this and Cynthia? Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. That was a poor showing. That was a very poor showing. Um, we're gonna try one more. We're gonna roll the dice one more time, even though it took forever to find this game. All right, actually, let's just take the time to look at how we can improve this deck. Like this deck has some pretty standard stuff in it. And oh, looks like I already have it. Um, don't want to clone it again. I hope I can't spell. Man. There we go. So, what I think with this deck, obviously, you know, Pidgeotto can be a good draw support. Um, so maybe you just run with that. Uh, you get rid of this. Amnesia's nice, but not always good. Kind of hard to pull off. The two of these is fine. We usually add to this is you go and get yourself a couple of Blastoise. I actually like this one a little better, too. I like that war turtle better and usually lower it down to that many war turtles. You might go ahead and throw a ditto in here. Just because it can evolve into war turtle or Pidgeotto. And now usually you kind of get yourself a uh, like a quicker attacker I guess. But we don't really have a lot of those in water basics. I think you have a Lapras along the line somewhere. You have Keldeo, which can be good. Um, and there should be a Lapras. I think it's this one. Oh, I hate this point of this song. It's always coming at the end of my videos too, which is always it's frustrating to me. Um, Articuno is good in this. And I think that's about it. Nothing else is really fast, uh, per se. Articuno could be, and it might actually have a good comeback soon, but not quite. So what other people have been doing that they like is putting in Mew, Mew, um, Mew to Mew, just because it, it's a quicker, you can use your, your main attacker's attack quicker, and, uh, it doesn't have to be on the bench to do so, you can kind of throw it into the, uh, discard pile. So if you have been taking Mew, Mew to, and throwing that in there. That's a lot of Pokemon. Um, you might end up having to take out the Pidgeotto line. To be honest, I think this lowers down to like 13. It'll be 14 because we can. Uh, Kakui is expired. Expanded, I should say. A couple of those. You can grab four communications.
Hmm. And you need a couple stadiums actually. That's prior what you rounded out with is stadiums. Something to counteract power plant basically. Usually it's like a Viridian Forest or something weird like that. But it's kind of whatever you feel like. Considering power plant completely walls your Mewtwo's. So you just find something around that. Um, maybe not something both you and your opponent can use. But uh, it seems to be what the tendency tends to be. So yeah, maybe that's what you're trying to change the deck to. You try this out. It's kind of a Mewtwo based. Uh, and it has a little less trainers than normal. But if you're drawing mostly with Pidgeotto, you'll be fine. Uh, we could save this as Torrential Mewtwo. It's kind of more that than Blastoise at this point, even though it's kind of easily just trash that. But I do want to thank you, everybody, for stopping by the video today. Uh, here, we'll cut over here. Um, that was Torrential uh, Cannon, the Blastoise theme deck. We will be catching up on another couple of ones soon. Uh, we still have the Mewtwo Zero R1, so we'll make a night for that. And a night for a Dragonite Necrozma as well. Uh, to be able to do those things. But with that guys, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. But for now, I'll bid you guys a Lola and I hope to see you guys in another theme deck corner soon. Bye bye.